Good morning, and welcome to the Northland News. I'm Keith Taylor. The Northland News is a weekly news program created by broadcasting students at Park University. For any news tips, please email us at alexekmis at park.edu. As of September 10th, the H1N1 flu virus has made its way to Park University, with a resident student being diagnosed with the virus. According to park.edu, the university has taken necessary precautions isolating the student and those who possibly who were possibly contaminated. We will continue to keep you up to date on the matter. There's something new on Park, Parkville's campus and it's stirring up a lot of emotions. Beth Guy has more on the story. Peace is often known for bringing people together and Tuesday was no exception. Members of the community, along with Park students, faculty, and staff, gathered together to celebrate the opening of the new Peace Exhibit. To kick off the event, those who gathered heard from three speakers. Um, and I have had the opportunity to track... Lord's, I'm sorry, the Lord's resistance, the Lord's resistance room and everything else, and, and even the snacks. We really appreciate it. After the ribbon was cut to mark the opening, yeah. the crowd go. began to look at the exhibit and were especially encouraged to check out a specific section. Those, uh, the panel with child soldiers, please look at that very closely. I mean, you have a picture of one boy pointing a revolver at another boy's head in front. But it's a real revolver, and they're real child soldiers. Many people who came felt very passionate about issues of peace. I feel that uh, the mindset of violence is, is too dominant uh, and that we need to start think, creating you know, a mindset of peace. It's a big problem right now, wars, Afghanistan, Iraq. All over. Violence starts with the heart name, and we place it this, the name of this exhibit is Transforming the Human Spirit. We have to do that transformation within each one of our lives, and I think that will make the ultimate difference. If you would like to see this exhibit, it will be in Thompson Student Center through Saturday. Recording for the Northland News, I'm Beth Guy. Mark your calendars. 2009's Distinguished Lecture Series is coming up. September 28th from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Presented by both Park University and the School of Business. President and CEO of the Federal Bank Reserve of Kansas City, Thomas M. Hoeing, will be featured speaker. The event is free, but registration is required. To register, visit park.edu. International students are a large percentage of the student population at Park University. They are talking about their feelings of studying overseas and what else Park can do to help international students. Mandy Cho has the story. A new semester start, of course, there are many new faces show up on campus. Of course, part of students are freshmen. However, we can see that international students do take a large percentage in Park. Under investigation, currently there are over 547 international students attending Park University in over 109 countries. Being a foreign student overseas is pretty tough, especially for those students who just come here. What's their feeling when they just got to Park? Uh, my first feeling is the Park is really excited because you know I got to my university that I'm gonna be here for like four years. But so still, I was like really nervous because everything around me is new and like, yeah, and, and I found out that there's no Vietnamese here, so I have nobody like help me and tell me the experience about college in America. But then, and I, and I, just, I was sad for a while because I miss home a lot, but then I was trying really hard and get my assignment back for college and yeah, I did. You should go here, look at that. I think most classes are pretty good because most uh, professors uh, think about international students who can't sp speak English very well. So um, classes are pretty good and but living in a campus is a little bit boring because um, around the park there are not enough inter exciting, you know? Yeah, so 
a little bit boring, but thank you. In my opinion, Park treats international students well. Like they have this club with student union, and they usually have activity and culture share are different people from different countries. And they have international office, and like if you need any help, you can just go there, and they're gonna try their best to help you. Actually, students still have some words to part and hope school can help. Yeah, okay, I think Park University should just help the student with transportation. You can go anywhere, just like grocery store or anywhere else that students need to go to. Because I don't think a student can afford to buy it. Like, whatever. Um, I think one thing that Park can improve and how more for international students hear about insurance. Because actually, like, we. Yeah, yeah, we are international student and we don't have insurance here, the insurance for school, but I don't think it's that much because one time I got sick and I think I, the nurse had to send me to the, her office and after that I like, received a bill like $200 and actually it's really expensive for international student. So I hope that I can like, help students more about that. But, yeah. Northland News, Mandy Cho reported. In Park Sports, today the women's volleyball team is in Baldwin City, Kansas. The Lady Pirates play Baker at 3 p.m. and Benedictine at 7. Tomorrow they'll be back in Baldwin to take on Avila and William Jewell. Then they'll travel to Olathe next Monday to play Mid-America Nazarene. Park's women's soccer team faced William Jewell this Wednesday. People wondered if the game would be canceled due to the weather. But they played despite the rain. Several Park students came to show their support, including the Painted Pirates. It was a close match with no one scoring well into the second half. The competition was so tight, they even went into the overtime. In the end, Park's women's soccer team scored the only point of the game, winning 1-0. to zero. Before we close, do you ever wonder what happens to Park students once they graduate? I was wondering the same thing, so I traveled to Lawrence to check in with Park grad Kelly Walker Chance. I went out to Lawrence, Kansas to catch up with photographer and Park graduate Kelly Walker Chance to see how the real world is treating her. Just kind of like giggle and like look down. There you go. So I started my business, um, Kelly Photo and Design, in January of 05, and we've been growing ever since. Um, and now have a studio in City Market, um, where we shoot lots of people on a daily basis. <laughs> Cute. Oh, that was perfect. Kelly was in Lawrence shooting for her new magazine, which launches in the next few months. Do you want to see what it looks like? Yeah. I'm shooting for a new magazine that I'm co-founding called Quirk. And it's um, for local Kansas City 20 somethings and teens. Um, lots of local fun stuff boutiques, designers, hot spots. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I love it. For more information, check out kelly photo.com and look for the Cork fan page on Facebook. For Northland News, I'm Keith Taylor. Kelly graduated in 2007 with a degree in creative photography and design. That's all for this edition of the Northland News. Join us next week for all the latest park news, including an update on the H1N1 on campus.